Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I know it's been about a week and a half since I've uploaded, but I've taken a little break. I went on a little break, uh, went on a little holiday, uh, got my head away from social media. Uh, it was really good, but for me, uh, it also, I hate to be away from my platforms. I hate to take a step back. It sort of stifles my focus. I mean, it helps me recover, re replenish but it stifled my pro progress a bit, and then I start to get into my own head, and I really, like as much as I liked having the break, I got to do a lot of things, get a lot of sunshine, do a lot of exercise, I was doing a lot of running, a lot of exploring, there wasn't any social media stress. Being away from my platforms really made me realize how much, how deep this purpose is ingrained in me, like, I really need to focus on something positive and contribute, otherwise it can make me feel really depressed. So accompanying my break, I did a lot of exercise, so I was kind of a bit tired, a bit run down after flying back here to England. Um, I started feeling a little bit down, to be honest with you, to be 100% honest with you. Um, like, oh, what am I doing? I felt like I was stuck in a little bit of a rut. So first thing today, I cleaned up the entire office. I got everything back in order. You know, I, I went and got my hair cut and freshened up and I thought, you know, my platform has ticked over 100,000 subscribers <laughs> since I've been gone. 100,000 subscribers. Now, that might not seem a lot to some people out there. You might think, well, who cares? Like, who really cares? To me, it's big. And I'll tell you why. When I first started my YouTube channel, I did it really spare of the moment. Really, you know, it, it took a lot for me to get on social media. Remember, I was involved in, in gangs, very heavy duty gangs. Um, so for me to publicly show my face on social media was a big thing. I was trying to keep a low profile. You know, I had a few enemies, I didn't know where I stood, and, and I was kind of anxious, very anxious. So to get on social media was a big thing. I wanted to inspire people through my transformation. And I remember writing on the mirror of a place I was staying at. Thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and back then it just seemed like, it seemed so far away back then. It was like, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. I had just uploaded my first um, video when I wrote this on the mirror. And what I'm going to do now is react to some of the video because it's a 13 minute video uh, and I don't wanna you know, keep you for that amount of time. But this is the first video I ever uploaded and I did it in the back of a car and I thought we could watch some of it together. And like, what I, what, some of the things in this video, like, I'm so glad I watched this video because back then, I was so hungry back then. I was so inspirational. I was full of energy. I didn't care anymore. I was just like, I've had enough. I want to change people's lives. I want to help change the world. And it reignited, like just watching this, I was just like, just reignited that passion in me. It's like, dude, what are you doing, mate? Get back into it. Don't ever like, don't ever doubt yourself for one second. Um, you know, the, from where I've come from to where I am now. Before we get started on this, I just want to say 100% thank you to every single one of you who are subscribed to me. If you don't like me, if you love me, if you are a bit indifferent, thank you so much for, you know, clicking on my videos. Like, you've been with me from the start, then I just absolutely love you. Like, thank you so much for being here with me for my journey. If you know my past, if you know, if you don't know my past, but if you know my past and you've stayed with me for all this time, thank you so much. Thank you so much to all my Patreons. Oh my God. When I started Patreon, it just took everything to the next level. My Patreons, donors, supporters, thank you. I love you so much. Without you guys, I don't know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same. I will still find a way, don't you worry. Without Patreons and supporters and things, I'd still find a way. I'd still be doing this. But thank you so much. So let's just start watching this video. Um, I'm in a car, just finished exercising, really pumped. Let's get into it. If you doubt yourself for one second, then, then you know, that doubt is going to affect what you manifest in that moment. So you've got to eliminate that doubt. I know it's hard, but you've, you've always got that little bit of doubt. But you've got to f***ing eliminate that. You've, you've got to feed the positive in you. you. You've got to believe in yourself that without any doubt, you know. And after a few years of doing this, right, you will, you will train your mind to eliminate that doubt 
and you'll just do it automatically. Love that part of what I'm saying because I started to doubt myself because I pulled myself away from my platforms a bit and I stopped not feeling in shape and I'm not feeling the best and I was just like, yeah, what are you doing, Joey? What are you doing? It's like me me five years ago, like this was um 2015, April 2015. So that's uh, nearly five years ago now. <laughs> nearly five years ago, uh, so it was four and a half years ago. And uh, you do, you let that doubt overtake, you know, your mindset and you, you, you really need to believe in yourself because if you don't believe, it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks of you, it matters what you think of you. And uh, so I'm so glad I watched this when I'm feeling a little bit like this now because it really did ignite that fire back in this here. There's a fire inside your heart, let it light up the world, okay? This was before I started my Light Up The World tour in Europe last year. Uh, one of my amazing subscribers uh, painted this for me and gave this to me, and I was really emotional when she gave this to me. It's me kissing Piglet here, Julian the Piglet, who was rescued from a factory farm. I never thought when I was sitting in this car making this video for the first time, being an ex-gang member, ex-drug addict, you know, one year vegan here in this car, that, that I would have touched someone so much that they would paint a picture for me, you know? How beautiful is that? Let's continue. Just look at the way someone talks about their self there. You know, that's their inner voice, right? And and then look at their life. Look how, the, look how their life keeps attracting problem after problem after problem. I mean, it's just fucking so simple. Everything in life is fucking simple, right? Don't try to complicate things. There's always a simple answer for the most, there's complicated questions, right? And there's all, always a simple answer. So back then I was really big on like your thoughts and your inner voice, your inner dialogue manifesting your reality. And my inner dialogue recently, since coming back from my break, wasn't really the best at all. It was actually quite negative. And just hearing myself say that to myself, old Joey saying it to, you know, new Joey, um, it really helped me get recentered again. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter what people say about you. What matters is you're in a dialogue. It doesn't matter if people are giving you shit or critiquing you, or, you know, bringing you down, or, or bringing you up, saying you're the most amazing thing that has ever walked the earth. It doesn't matter about that. What, what matters is what you think of yourself, your inner dialogue. So that was really good too. Let's continue. Yeah, so I just thought I'd make a fucking quick video because I'm just so pumped on life at the moment. And, you know, I've never made a YouTube video and I just didn't know how to start. I just thought, yeah, how do you fucking start? And how do you start? How do you start? How did I get back on you know, social media after I'm having my week off, I set the camera up. I put the lights on and I press record, okay? How did I start my first video? How did I get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube? I grabbed the phone and I pressed record, I started talking and I uploaded it to YouTube. That's how you start. And I mean, it sounds so simple, doesn't it? Remember I was saying there's complicated questions, very simple answers? Start where you are, use whatever you have, and do what you can and do it now. And don't wait. Don't wait to where to, to conditions are perfect. Never gonna be perfect. Start now. That's what I did here. There's just a lot of things that I wanna get up get out of the way and sometimes after you train you're just so buzzed and you just got so much energy that you just you need to let it out. You need to let it out to someone and, and I think YouTube is probably the perfect well it is the perfect platform to do that because you can inspire so many people through YouTube and that's what I really want to do. And look where we are now. Look where we are now. I don't know how many activists are activists because they followed my content. I don't know how many people are vegan because they followed my content, but I know that I've reached a lot of people, tens of millions of people through media, um, millions, tens of millions of people through social media as well. Um, so look where things went. I did not expect them to go this far. I want to inspire people to change their fucking life for the better because I've been I've I've experienced fucking hell. I've been to fucking, I've been to jail. I've you know I've been a drug addict. I've been an alcoholic. I've been that violent guy. Like, like you know what I mean. I won't go into details, but you know I, I've been in that dark place and I've pulled myself out of it. So I know what it takes. And I, I've been sober for nearly two years now. So basically, I this is a man here in this video who pulled himself out of a very dangerous, dark place, who nearly lost his life on many occasions, whose friends are serving life sentences or who's, who are serving big, big long stints in prison, um, who are still addicted to drugs. Um, I nearly killed myself many times through drug overdoses, through blowing my own brains out, um, 
through putting myself in dangerous situations where I could have been killed, I, I feel uh, you're looking at a very grateful human being who's grateful to be here on earth, who's been through a very dark place and who's now taken the step to get on social media and share his life with everyone. Now, not everyone knows me as that person. Most people know me as the guy who's telling you to go vegan because abusing animals is cruel. The aggressive guy, you know? Not many people know about this guy who come from the gutter, who come from, you know, taking drugs every single day, hiding, jumping at his own shadow with a loaded pistol down his trousers, not knowing when he's gonna, whether he's gonna wake up the next day because he's gonna have a bullet in his head or, you know, not many people know that guy. And this is the guy talking to you who's in the car, who's just pulled himself out of it. Now, I, I don't know if that reaches you on some level, but damn, like, just remembering where you come from and how far you've come can really help you get, you know, centered and realize some things. Um, I've been vegan for over a year. Um, you know, and I'm just, I'm just growing as a human and I want to share that with people. I want to, I want to share that with people. I want to, I'm fucking driving at the moment. <laughs> just going up, inspiring people. Um, you know, I want to share that with people. I want to be able to pull people out of that fucking hole or no, not, I won't pull them out of that hole. I will give them the inspiration to pull themselves out of that hole that give them that fucking fire and that, you know, just let them know that it is fucking possible to pull yourself out of any fucking hole. Like I've been suicidal before and I got through that you know what I mean and then them hills don't seem as steep when, you, when you've been in a fucking hole like that you know you look at a fucking hill when you're on your bike or whatever you do and that hill doesn't seem so fucking steep you know once you've once you've fucking conquered what you're going through if you're going through hell or whatever you know just just keep going man and, and you'll see that light at the end man because because once you do man it's like a revelation your fucking life it's like you go through hell to get to heaven man and you know like Spiritual people, right, there's, they're like that because they were forced to be like that, you know, their experiences in their life propelled them to being enlightened, you know what I mean? Like, it's always, it's always you go through the fucking rain to get to the sunshine at the end, you know, the rainbow's at the end of the fucking, that dark road, so, you know, stay sober, man, like, you know, it's hard, man, but you, you can do it, man, if I can do it, the biggest fucking party animal in the northern fucking suburbs, then you can do it, man, like, Wow, that's really emotional to watch that, like me talking about what it means to be spiritual. Um, people, some, a lot of people, they're, they're spiritual because they meditate or they do these spiritual practices, but I, I'm spiritual because I went through hell and I came out the other side and I'm still here. You know, that's spirituality to me. That I, I have gratitude because of that. I realize certain things because of that. Um, and I shouldn't forget that no matter how tough the journey gets, or because I've now got 100,000 subscribers, I feel like that's a milestone. Uh, I feel like that might be a milestone. It's a milestone for me. You know, some of the things I put on my channel, some of the way, the way that I speak about this topic, it's very hard to follow. I'm not all prissy. I'm not all like, hey, this is all wrapped up in a bow for you here. I'm gonna be nice to you. No, I've come with a very, I've come with a very uncomfortable message to people. You know, I show gas chamber footage on this channel. I'm out there in Germany showing people gas chamber footage. I'm out there all, all across the world, getting in debates, talking about the rape in the dairy industry. Hard, hard to follow, but I managed to get to 100,000 subscribers. And, you know, this adversity that I faced in my past, you know, um, the hell that I went through, I, I can't go into too much detail, but it was really, really tough. And it really has given me the the thick skin to get through what I have with being such an outspoken activist. So yeah, let's continue. If you want to see more of these videos, just fucking give us a like or whatever, and I suppose I'll keep uploading them, but... If you want to see more of these videos, just give them a like, and I suppose I'll keep uploading them. No, I definitely did that, didn't I? I won't make any pro promises. I don't make really any plans in life. I just go with the flow and do what I'm going to do, and hopefully, like, I can get through to some people and help them help them you know change their life for the better because you know everyone wins man everyone wins in like if you you know you choose to not not eat animals you win you know if you go vegan you win the planet wins the animals win you know your health wins your mental health will win you know your energy levels will rise and there we go that was the beginning of my 
activist journey, my vegan advocacy journey. Now, I was already outspoken off, offline, but as soon as I started doing this online and was consistent and never gave up, um, you know, this is where it all started. So I've taken down hundreds of my videos because I obviously was swearing a lot back then. I was quite aggressive when I started to realize what was happening to animals. I changed my style a lot. I've grown a lot along the way. I've faced a lot of challenges, adversity and struggle. Um, but even like recently, you know, just feeling a little bit, where do I go from here? You know, I, I think that that's normal. I think that, you know, sometimes you, you become a little bit lost and then you find yourself again and just remember where you come from. And, you know, it's just really good to watch this video. I really am really grateful to be in the position I'm in now. And it was a lot of hard work went into this. Um, I, I wanna thank everyone who's helped me along the way. And, you know, everyone who's stuck by me through all of this, you know, craziness. So yeah, I'm not going away. There's a lot of things I wanna talk about uh, that have happened recently. I've got a, some, a few announcements that I wanna make as well. And there we go. That's 100,000 subscribers. Here's to uh, 100,000 more. And, you know, I love you all. Thank you all for your support, my Patreons, donors, supporters, subscribers, commenters. Thank you so much. I'll leave you with the ending of this video. I'll link the full video down below. That's my first video, and it won't be my last. And I want you to, I want people to have that energy so they can help other people change too, and they can inspire others too, and it's just like, you know, it's the hundredth monkey effect. You know, you affect one monkey, then, then every hundred monkey gets affected, and before you know it, there's like a there's like an army of f***ing carved up, vegan, inspirational, sober f***ing level-headed, straight-edged fucking monkeys just f***ing charging through life, just on their bikes, roaring up the hills. Yeah, doing crazy shit, helping out the planet, you know, and just doing the right thing. So, I'll leave it here because I'm nearly home, driving in my car, first YouTube video. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon with another video. Cheers for listening. See you later. Thanks for listening. Peace.